On Rosh Hashanah, it is written. On Yom Kippur, it is sealed. America is the land of freedom. And one aspect of that freedom is the freedom to choose whether or not to affiliate with or participate in a religious community. We choose whether or not to belong to a synagogue. We choose whether or not to attend services or adult education. We choose whether we serve as Jewish role models for our children. There's no government mandate and no social pressure that forces us to be Jewish. At this time of year, we decide our Jewish fate for the year. Is it enough to express my Jewish identity only on the high holidays or is there something more? Do I have enough knowledge to make this decision based on a Jewish education which ended at age 13? Or should I delve more deeply into the sources which have brought such wisdom to so many over the centuries? Since this is a time of introspection, use this period to examine our lives and our behaviors. Each of us should ask ourselves the following question. If being Jewish were a criminal offense, would there be enough evidence against me to obtain a conviction? If the answer to the above is probably not, now is the time to start over. Every day, do just one thing, only because it is Jewish. Say the Shema when you wake up and when you go to bed, or say a blessing when you sit down to eat, or put away a coin for tzedakah every day. Just one thing, but do it every day, day in and day out, no matter what. And you will see how after a few months, your Jewish choice has enriched your life beyond expectations.